I'm honored to present to you today about our collaboration uh, with the other partners uh, like RCMRD in the information and the data, especially in the role of the regional resource hub in the region. So I just want to give you a, a very brief about the Lake Victoria Basin. It's a second largest fresh water lake in the world and the first in the Africa, in Africa. And you can see the water is sharing by three uh, partner states, Kenya having 6%, Uganda 43% and Tanzania 51%. With this initiative, we have done, uh, I will present uh, what we have, uh, what tools have we developed with the RCMRD. And currently, I would just want to mention that under this uh, program on the transboundary conservation and management of transboundary capital in East Africa, uh, financed uh, by USAID and also supported by BioPharma with, uh, with other partners. We are developing uh, a, a tool called eco ecological mapping and monitoring tool for transboundary ecosystem management in East Africa. Um, in East Africa, the purpose is to uh, to conserve and manage these critical transboundary resources, to have information that can inform the policy decision on the status of these ecosystems and what tools or uh, framework can be established for the joint management. Therefore, this tool, as I said, the, uh, it will be in line with the agreed work plan with the East African community, Bioparma and IUCN working with the, um, the joint research Center of the European Commission and the RCMRD. And the, the tool will be uh, a design, uh, it will, we will design a system of framework for collection of data and information for effective understanding of the ecosystem, ecosystem processes and dynamics, because this is very important. As I said, that the region is very uh, endowed with this biodiversity and the transboundary in nature, sharing between countries. Therefore, it is important to understand what is existing and what are the changes are happening. And this will also help in the wide management of these resources. And again, for LVBC as the regional institution for advising the sustainability of these resources, we'll be able to inform the policy makers and even to formulate strategies for the joint management of these resources. Therefore, the uh, resource, the regional resource hub, eh, it will be a critical place that this information will be also stored and will be able to access and also be accessible with other uh, partners in the region. And I just want to show you uh, just brief the areas that have been uh, prioritized for the ecological mapping and monitoring tool in the region. Therefore, we have identified like, like seven uh, areas. The Kidepo Valley National Park and the Kidepo Game Reserve between Uganda and South Sudan. We have Great Virunga Landscape between Uganda and Rwanda. Serengeti Mara ecosystem between Kenya and Tanzania, Savo Mkomanzi ecosystem between Kenya and Tanzania, Rungwe Kibira, Nyungwe Kibira, Rwanda and Burundi, Takanyaru, Rweru Akagera, Chohoa Ruhinda, and Kanzigiri complex between Rwanda and Burundi. In conclusion, I can say that the tool that uh, we are about to develop will provide information to support field interventions and policy dialogues for fair and effective management and governance of critical, uh, for critical uh, transboundary resources. As I said that most of the time share, shared resources, they are not easy, eh? 
because of the competing interests. If we have information and data, we'll be uh, in a better position to inform the decision and even the strategies for management. Therefore, the information that will be collected under this tool, it will also add into our resource hub, uh, into the regional resource hub and advise in the requirement for the protection and conservation of the areas in East African community.